That's Watershed with Magical Energy on Smile 90.4 FM, Cape Town's best mix of the 80s, 90s and now. You're listening to SA Music Sundays. It's that time of the week where we show some love and appreciation to all the talented musicians in and around Cape Town and all across South Africa as well. Now, speaking of Cape Town, joining us next on the line here on SA Music Sundays tonight, you may have heard of her before. She's a Cape Town-based singer, songwriter and composer. Her name is Makita Swan. Welcome to Smile 90.4 FM. How are you? Hi, Dean. I'm well, thanks. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, Makita, I read that you described your relationship with music as something that has allowed you to embrace truth and freedom in the natural rhythms of life. Those are some pretty deep words. So I'm interested to know what you mean by that. I mean so much by that. I, basically, I, I've come to experience and discover life as something that is, you know, there's ebbs and flows, there's highs and lows, there's seasons that we go through and we are always evolving as you know as human beings going through this life and yeah um i think music because it's something that i love so much and something that oh is like so much a part of me um in the same way that life you know kind of evolves and goes about its different seasons and everything my music um and my expression of music and my even my embracing and interpreting of music has has followed kind of the same journey or the same path you know yeah. so when I find myself as a writer, for example, when I find myself in a season that's like quite challenging, that's obviously going to translate into the music that I write. And in the same way, like when I find myself in a season that's like really good and free and, and happy and joyful and abundant, then that also that also reflects in, in the music that comes out of me. So, oh, wow. yeah, that's kind of what I'm referring to. <laughs> okay, now that we're on the same page. Makita, you've recently released a new single titled Locked, and you mentioned that this single explores the heart's desire for love and companionship and its contrasting need for contentment and solitude. Now, I can't help but notice you seem to be quite a bright spark. You seem to be the sharpest crown in the box and you know your way with words. Does putting lyrics together for a single like Locked, do, does it come easily for you? Because for me, I wouldn't know the first damn thing about writing a song. <laughs> well, yeah, it's interesting that you asked that. I mean, as a songwriter, no song that I've written has come to me in exactly the same way. Sometimes I'll sit down and be like, okay, cool, today I'm writing songs. Um, and then it's very intentional, you know, and I have to, it's almost like more, it's more like work, you know, and at yeah. the end of the day like that, I'm quite tired and I've really like given a lot of yeah. myself, you know, poured a lot of myself onto the paper or, you know, onto the whatever recording device I'm doing. And so it takes a lot out of me in that sense. But there are other times where the song kind of just comes to me, whether it's fully formed as a whole song, which actually was the case with Locked, it kind of just came to me. It was almost like, arrived and I got it and I just channeled it like it was really easy it just flowed through me but there are other times where I'll get like little snippets of a song and then fill it in intentionally and other times it's just intentional so it all kind of just depends I don't know like it's different every time well let's find out just what it is that we're talking about right now for the first time here on SA Music Sundays this is Makita Swan with Locked Before I care to admit, yeah. Don't get me started, baby. I may not stop. Uh. I'm for sorrows, baby. They've had me locked up, locked in my brain, locked in my heart, locked everywhere I wanna start. I'm trying to call you. That's Makita Swan with Locked here on Smile 90.4 FM, Cape Town's best mix of the 80s, 90s and now. In between all of that, Makita herself hasn't gone anywhere just yet. She's still here on the line. Now, Makita, you've described yourself as a multi-genre artist. Please forgive me, but that sounds a little bit confusing. Don't you ever get mixed up with all the different genres when it comes to making music and deciding which direction you want to go in? It's a good question, Dean. I think for where I'm at right now, I'm very, very content being multi-genre. If you think about a lot of the artists that we hear on the radio and know about, if you really like study 
their music and study songs on the radio, like they, they actually are multi-genre songs. Like a lot of people, for example, will take a hip, a typically like a traditional hip hop beat mm -hmm. and put pop lyrics over it. Like that's that very true. Of, actually, now that yeah. you mention that, yeah. If you think of like Taylor Swift, she does that all the time. She does <laughs> so, actually. So, yeah. So many artists do that now. It's kind of just the way music is going. I think um, this generation of creatives is very like just open-minded and, kind of very free-spirited and what doesn't want to be put in a box. So I personally have never kind of liked labels or liked being, you know, put in a box. And it's, it's not a thing of rebellion, but it's just a thing of like really just wanting to embrace the fullness of self-expression. And so I was exposed to so many different genres of music growing up. Like my dad's a jazz saxophonist, and but then I'm classically trained as a pianist. For example, and you know, throughout school, I listen to all. So I listen to R and B, I listen to hip hop, I listen to rock, I listen to Irish folk music. Like basically, that's all in me. I have an appreciation for all of that, and so I don't want to limit myself by being like, okay, I'm just focusing on this genre, and therefore everything must sound like this genre. I kind of want to just be able to flow and express whatever I'm feeling and allow that to sound like what it sounds like, sounds like, if that makes sense. Quite a sophisticated musical palette you've got there, Makita. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Makita, where can we find you online if we'd like to follow your journey and stay in the loop with how things unfold for you in the near future? Because this is just the beginning for you. I am on the social media platforms. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. And if you just type in Makita Swan, it'll come up. And then I have a website, which I've just completed about, I don't know, like six weeks ago. Cool. And that's www.makitaswan.com. Perfect. Sounds like a plan. Makita, thank you very much for joining us here on SA Music Sundays tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure. I need to ask you one more question before I let you go. I think your okay. first name is probably one of the coolest things I've heard since sliced bread. Can I please <laughs> give it to my kid one day? Oh, please do. I'd be honored. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Thanks. Done deal. Sure. Makita, look after yourself and we look forward to hearing from you again soon, okay? Thank you, Dean. Keep well. Bye. That's Makita Swan, a Cape Town-based singer, songwriter and composer, joining us here on SA Music Sundays tonight. You heard it here first. I've got permission from the horse's mouth. I can use Makita and give that name to my kid one day. Such a cool name. I love it. I think it's so cool. We've still got more good South African music where that came from tonight to keep you company because this is, of course, SA Music Sundays on Smile 90.4.